Oh no! I have an urgent and horrifying news story! Google My Business is going away! Oh no! Let's get into it. Alright, so don't panic. It's not as bad as you think it is. Google My Business is one of the most important tools for marketing a small business locally. Seven out of 10 searches that happen online are actually happening on Google Maps, which is what Google My Business is. It's where you can list your business for free. It doesn't cost you anything. You just gotta manage and maintain and update it. But Google My Business app is going away. And you probably heard about this, but it's not as bad as you think it probably is. The Google My Business app actually launched quite a long time ago. It was back in June of 2014 when they launched that app. And it's an important app. It's helped thousands and thousands of business owners, even my business owners make thousands if not millions of dollars I've used to generate tens of thousands of leads across various different industries. And so it's a really important tool. And I was freaking out when I first heard that it was going away. I was like, how am I gonna manage my locations? Are they gonna manage it for me? But the good news is, is they're not. So I wanna share an in-depth kind of overview of what's happening so you are informed, you can inform your clients, and we can move forward together. All right, so the first thing you need to know is the name change. Yes, the Google My Business app and the Google My Business brand is going away, which sucks because I've created a lot of products around that, I've done a lot of marketing around the Google My Business stuff, and we're no longer gonna be using the word GMB. Google My Business is getting a new name, and that new name is Google Business Profile Manager. Kind of boring and long-winded, but it is what it is. So you will be accessing your account through the same place that you were before. So you'll just go to business.google.com. You'll be able to get access into your account, be able to manage, update, just like the same way that you've been doing it. And you'll also be able to manage it in Google Maps as well as Google Search. And I'm gonna get into that today to explain how you're gonna do that in both. So I'm gonna read some of the things that I've taken as notes because I don't wanna miss a single detail. The last thing I wanna share with you, and you're probably wondering this before we jump deep into the content, is when is this going to take place? Google, unfortunately, has not released when this is happening. They've announced that it is happening, but they haven't released or confirmed a specific date, but we know that it's going to be happening in 2022, and so you'll be able to access your Google My Business and your Google information on your maps through different various forms now, like Google Maps and Google Search. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. All right, the first thing you're gonna be able to do is access it through Google search. I'm gonna give you these breakdowns. You have two options. Option one is to search for your business name in Google search. If you've claimed or have access to your Google business profile, you can search your business name to see your local listings. On your desktop, this will allow a pop-up on the right-hand side for the search results. For app users, this will be the first thing in the results. You will see a message below your business name saying you manage this profile from the search. You can make adjustments to your information and there you go. That's how you'll access it through Google search. That's option one. Option two is very similar to option one is you'll search my business in the search bar and the name, the same rules apply to option two as option one. Simply type in my business in the search and if you've claimed your listing, it will pop up in the search results. If you haven't, then you're gonna to need to go claim your listing and that's another video for another day. I'll probably make a tutorial on this as they start to roll this out and they get rid of the Google My Business app, but I wanted to make sure that you know this. Uh, if you're finding this content helpful, please do me a huge favor. Drop a like, drop a subscribe down below. I make a ton of content that helps small business owners, small creatives like yourself thrive in a really challenging economy and a challenging time that we're living in with everything being so competitive. So if you wanna get connected, you want more great content like this, definitely hit that subscribe, down, subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the bell and the thumbs up. All right, so let's make it over to your second option or your second way to be able to get to manage your Google My Business and that's gonna be through Google Maps app. You have two options here for accessing your account, very similar to the Google search. Uh, option one is to search your business name. You're gonna type in Adrian Agency or Instagraphics or whatever your company name is, you're gonna type that into the search. And in the map section, as if you were going to type it into the address to get directions, and you're gonna search for your business name. That's number one. And it's gonna show you the same thing as we talked about before. You, you manage this profile, you'll click on it, you'll be able to edit, update it from there. Option two is accessing your Google business profile through your account menu. You're gonna have a your account menu in the Google Maps. To the top right of your screen, you will see your profile account button. If you click on this, a list of menu options will show. Click on the option that says 
your business profile to access your account. So this is a really new way of doing things. This is different than just opening up the Google My Business app. We manage a ton of accounts, so this is gonna change a lot for our end. If you're frustrated by this, if you're excited by this, I wanna hear from you. I wanna know what your feedback is, and if you need help, if there's something that I didn't answer in this video and you wanna know, I will find the answer for you. I may not know it right off the bat, but I will go and get the answer, even if I gotta go to Google myself. So definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know what your questions are, what your concerns are. I wanna hear from you. This is a two-way street. You wanna hear from me, and I wanna hear from you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.